All right, boom. Welcome back to another episode of Return of the Mac Podcast. Your host, Oscar Daddy, here at Papa Jason, Papa Jason, again. Uh, another week, another episode. I'm joined by the COVID crew and also uh, uh, Mr. LBG himself. So I'm going to let these guys introduce themselves. Go ahead. It's, uh, it's Koti. I'm back. K O T I A N D E. Had to spell it again for y'all. <laughs> Yo, my name is BKP LBG. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Jimmy. Yeah, very hard. Yeah, at least throw the gang side properly, man. Yeah, no, you literally just want to be here. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. All right, well, bro. Um, what do you guys want to start with, man? Uh, I had a big thing on my agenda that I wanted to start with. I wanted to start with the whole Tory Lanez thing. But unfortunately, at the time that we're filming, he hasn't said his part of the story, so we can't really talk on that. But by the time people are hearing this, they obviously know what's going on, which is kind of annoying. But what do you uh, what do you anticipate? What do you what do you expect it to be? A song? You expect oh. to be an interview? You nah, he can't he can't drop no song, bro. My nigga, he said he said nine p.m. Pacific time. That's midnight here. You know, it drops at midnight on Friday. That's exactly what I was thinking about too. I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> you he, know what drops at midnight on Fridays? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's, there's no way he's gonna come on like. I thought it was gonna be like an Instagram live, but I'm like, why would you do that? To, That's exactly what it's gonna be. I, I wanted to be a quarantine radio. He's dropping. He's dropping quarantine radio, fam. Yes. Can't be. Quarantine, you want to listen to this quarantine radio after what happened, fam? He's dropping a song. No, quarantine radio. I mean, if you know, it's quarantine sense. radio. I see him dropping a song and explaining himself in the format of his art. Will people? People are gonna shit on that instantly. Of that's course, all, you know, but whatever he does, people are gonna show. But him. don't you think that's a hit and hit or miss, fam? What if he drops a song and people are not feeling it and they just yo officially oh, cancel? None. Yeah, bro, because it's like I don't. Think it happened July. It happened July. That's three, four months down the line. Yeah, I don't think honestly, no one has been successfully canceled, ever. Successfully canceled? Who? They try to cancel Kanye. Koti, Koti, Koti should get ca- canceled, bro, for say flat earth, bro. <laughs> uh, come on, bro. But I have, I have someone in mind. Uh, Bill Cosby was successfully canceled. Successfully. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bill, yeah. Cas- yeah. Bill Cosby, yeah. You're right, you're right. But no, I think that if it's gonna be a quarantine rate, not a quarantine rate, if it's gonna be like a live, the first thing I thought of was like, is he trying to step on Travis's shit? Ooh. You know, because you know they had a bit of friction in the past, right? Yeah, I doubt it. Here. Travis is doing something too big right now, bro. IMAX, you guys saw that? Yeah, I don't, well, I don't know what it is. Like, just feed it. I think it's a music IMAX. video or like a short film, but that's 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 nice. coming out tonight as well. Yeah, new song, uh, Young Thug. You got Young Thug and uh, MIA. On. MIA, I love him. Wow, bro, that's a, that's that's a big feature. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. it should be big. Uh, and plus, the way it was sign- sounding too, with the reference to Franchise Boys. And it's called Franchise? Oh. I was like, oh. oh. They got the Atlanta stamp? Okay. I saw a text. I forget who it was from. Some guy was taking, like, Travis was jacking his style. But he, it was originally called White Tea. But because oh. Summer Walker dropped a song called White Tea, so it was, like, yeah. it was kind of, you know, like, in the way. So he put his franchise. But you know if White Tea by Franchise was? That's yeah. a sample. That's a sample. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In my yeah, white yeah. teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. It's you're, saying, it's song. you're saying somebody else has a song that like, basically <clears throat> Travis stole? That little, no, the man was, I don't know his name. I forgot. I've seen it on Twitter, but the man was show screenshot conversation of their text saying, like, yo, Travis jacked his, jacked his whole swag and shit. But Travis not said, again, no, man. I'm not liking this, man. This I know, but it's too much. Building? Yo, I, I don't like find it. That. I should find that. Yeah, yeah, later yeah, on, maybe, like, in the visuals, you can pop it up or something. I'm going to find that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also leaked, remember, they came out with that, the sci-fi reference for, um, yeah. what song was that again? Um, a Coffee Bean. Yeah, and uh, wasn't it Thing 2? No, it's also the song, the song with Drake. It was also the song Sickle with Drake, wasn't Sickle it? Sickle mode, yeah. Sickle mode, yeah. It came yeah. out his verse too, and I was like, okay, like, I don't like what they're trying to do right now, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't look, I don't look at Travis Scott as a like. Uh, I don't look for him for his bars. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, say. I look for yeah. him for the energy he Production. brings, every, the whole package, basically. the whole package. Like he and that's what he does well every single yeah. time. Reason yeah, he why delivers. he's branding is so strong, bro. Mm. And like I look at it every day, and I'm amazed. Like yo, cause we, especially me. 
Because, yeah, like, I was listening to your last episode and, like, you guys talk about music and who's yeah. really, like, tapping into the different... I remember, like, vividly, the main reason was, like, yo, me and you just went back and forth. And, like, yeah, oh, man, like, literally. About those days. And, like, we went to the show, too. Yeah, Did you all was... go to that show? Oh, Travis Scott, went to bro. That show. Y'all went to that show. Yeah, that show yeah, was lit. That was, that was officially my first concert that I've yeah. been to, fam. Me, too. Oh, like, that's, oh, like, the oh, best, like. that's the best first concert ever. That was my first concert. Ever. That's what I'm like, saying. Yeah, that was my first concert. Because of that concert, fam, yeah, I think it's best work to... Today, fam, is uh, days before rodeo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean, yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, you're not wrong for that. Uh, like, fam, days uh, before what? rodeo. Come on, bro. Different. Days before rodeo is Travis Cut, I, fam. It's, like, it's rare to have projects like that that open up a whole lane for a lot of people, but that, yeah. that project, bro, even like the Young Thug was still early in those days. That's yeah. why I'm, Young Thug and Travis dropping the song tonight. It brings me back. It's like, oh, am I going to get Every time they come out. Am I going to get a Mama Cita? Am I going to get a, you know what I'm saying? Mama Cita. Yeah, like, yeah, she was like, crazy, no, fam. Yeah, what am I getting? Yeah. The drums on Mama Cita. I was listening to that shit every day, fam. Oh, yeah, the for drums sure. Drums on Mama Cita. I won't even lie. Yeah, slappy toppy, fam. Come on, bro. <laughs> nah, that's all that kind of alright to me, still. Nah, but Migos yeah. early 2000s. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that was what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Offset was still in the bend them days. Yo, like, <laughs> <laughs> slappy toppy. You know what I'm saying? Different. Pee Wee Longway. No. Yeah. Zombies, yo, the whole whole, whole project, fam. But yo, I remember that night, bro. This man connected with Metro Booming, though, fam. Yo, the BKP. Uh, yo, no, I connected with heavy, uh, yeah. I connected with Metro and Chase B. I got pictures Chase. Chase B. Yo, yo, I think yeah. that. I think, yeah, I, remember that. I think that might have been the first time I saw Jameson. Jameson I'm not capping. So yo, Max <laughs> on the stage. You remember? Yes, bro, Chase you B remember? did a commercial for for fucking Jameson. I swear to God. Yo, you remember he came on the stage? I remember it was Metro came on the stage first time. We were drenched before Travis came on. Fam. Yeah. Metro came on oh, and you yeah. see Metro. Why? Okay. You got <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, nah, yeah. I remember after the show, G Mac went to go get a picture with Travis, did his little pose thing. That picture yeah, yeah, ended yeah. there too, still. He yeah, paid like, for that. He paid bro, for I that. Still had that he picture paid for that. Bro. He paid for that picture, bro. Okay, but listen, it was VIP. Bro, that Travis taxed this guy. That should be us. That should be the cover for this episode. I have the picture of us, like, at the, the show. Yo, you have that yes, picture? Yes, all of us? Yeah, yes, that's going to be the artwork. That's going to be the artwork. That was a big, big yeah, yeah. bet, bro. But now, yeah, like, I feel like that album, honestly, that was like a stamp in time in terms of what it was, the impact and stuff like that. But, like, yeah, speaking of, like, music and, like, you know, stamps and times, whatever, I saw this um, this article or headline that came out about Lauryn Hill talking about miseducation being the best rap album of all time. By the Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones said this. What do you Yo, guys think? Best. The Rolling Stones, what, did, you, did you see the list? They dropped, they reworked their 500 best albums of all time. Oh, they did? Yeah, they re-released it, like they reorganized it according to like, you know, people like you were working or whatever. They, yeah, recently, a couple of Oh, I know. I just, I just saw that headline. I was like, bro. I see. So I, I didn't know. I, I'm going to look it up, actually. I'm going to see when, what did they rank that album? Yeah. That when I saw it's number tweet, one, fam. Yeah, when I saw it, they had, they had Lauren Hill, Miss Education as number one. What did you guys bro. think off rip when you guys first saw that? Off yeah. rip? Yeah. They boosted. Boosted, no. Uh, they, they, I don't know if they boosted. Uh, yo, best female rap of all time, yes. Oh, for sure. But rap if album, you want to say rap best album. rap, yeah, best rap album of all time, bro, yo, come on. It'll matter, yo, it's bare shit, fam. Yeah, it's kind of at the same time for me, bro. Yeah, for me, yo, when you listen to the album, yo, top to bottom, so it's just it's just a good project, like put yeah. together, like uh, the, the whole thing, bro. I can listen to the album without skipping any song. I will. I, I'd say that too. I want to add on, on on that too. Like it's a, it's an album where you everything is everything just blends in properly. It's cohesive. It's very cohesive. Like from top to bottom. Cohesive, it's yeah. It's it's a, it's a good vibe. I'm on front. Yeah. But it's, it's not it's, the it's, it's not number one. Yeah, artwork, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The album came number ten out of the five hundred. So highest. It's the highest uh, rap album. The highest rap album. Female. Who the fuck did wow. get this headline of like number one? It's the highest rap. Number one was um. I think the Beatles or some shit. It's like album, yeah. not just fuck out of here, bro. Not fuck. just <laughs> everyone not knows just me goes are better than the Beatles, man. Come on, yo, <laughs> <laughs> man, the Beatles, bro. Nah, the way white people got mad back when that first headline came out, that was Jesus. Jesus from Jesus and Meryl started that. That mm. big ass troll saying everyone like nobody knows who the Beatles are. Everyone knows me goes are better. <laughs> White Twitter went crazy, like actually nuts. It was in the news and all that shit. That's crazy. Yeah, her master. Yeah, they said her masterpiece came at number ten. Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy came at seventeen. What? Wow. 
dog. That to me, that makes no this sense. Is, this is just rap albums, right? So like, technically, the second best rap album out of all of them. What about College Dropout? I don't know. I'm just looking at briefly. They gave out like Ready to Die was 22, Wu Tang 36, Chambers 27. Wow. Uh, the Chronic at 37. Okay, that's yeah. Uh, get Get I'm Rich, Die no, Trying. Illmatic, Illmatic, Illmatic at 44. Outcast of Quimini at 49 and Blueprint <sighs> Jay Z. Jay Z's at 50. So that's like the good I'm, I'm stressed, man. I'm, nah, stressed. I'm really curious to know what's the number one. I'm gonna look that in. Yeah, I think I mean I guess no, no. Went so that. it makes sense. That's that was the number one rap album because that was ranked right. the highest, right? Yeah, yeah. Rap album, yeah. it's hers. Yeah. Yeah. To me, that's just not. Yeah. I can't, like this, this also came out when I was yes. three, though. You know, so yeah. I can't really. I, I don't know what the time was like, and but but listening to it now, it's kind of like I don't love this. Like obviously, what? X, X Factor Unplugged, a beautiful song. I love that song. You know, um, to Zion obviously fire. You know the guitar. Yeah, of course, Dua, is Carlos, Dua on there too, or that yeah, Duop is on there. Duop, yo, there. come on, fam. Even her per work with Fuji's was tough, bro. With yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, we had a great yeah. run, a really yeah, great bro. run. Yeah, you you playing games, fam. I'm not playing games. I'm telling you. I'm telling you like it is. Like, fam, the thing is that you're supposed to like it more now that you're grown and you know you know you experience life that yeah. album is about you don't know no nah, well, that's more for like 808 to heartbreak you guys don't know what number one is of all time like on their list what? Marvin Gaye what's going on that's not a rap album though fam it isn't though it isn't but the number one album they put there is that one. Oh, okay I'm just showing oh, you okay, okay. Marvin Gaye okay, was yeah. talking about like literally a lot of the stuff a lot of the content that he, that he touched upon on that album Marvin Gaye is what's happening today? Like, if you, if you listen to the song "What's Going On" on that album, he's talking it's about going on. <laughs> yeah, Bro, it if, literally talks if, about if, everything that's happening today. Yeah. If you want to talk about futuristic uh, content, Tupac's talking about thirty, fam. Come on, man. <laughs> like, come on, fam. Tupac, Tupac predicted everything that's happening right now too. Yeah, yeah, Tupac's we'll still alive, bro. Okay, nah, we're bro. gonna talk about futuristic music. <laughs> we're gonna talk about Kanye, man. Like, come on, <laughs> come on, man. Bro, I'm still Easy-ish. standing on my on my point that Drake about to have a Tupac feature in the album, bro. Yo, really yeah. Believe. Wait, really I, don't, I don't know if you said the. Did you say it on the podcast or in I person? I said on the podcast. I said I said on one of the podcasts. Or I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. I said, Honestly, that, yeah, say say your theory. Explain it. You broke it down perfectly. Yeah. So basically, like I'm seeing like just little hints. I've been peeping at like, how the laugh now, cry later. Title that was a tattoo that Tupac had on his back with like the, the, the mask, like the faces, mask, face mask, or whatever. It was like a laughing face and a sad face, right? And even like the the Tupac chains that he got, the black, the red and blue one, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another hint I took in. Like, I was taking a little hint, just observing, you know. So, like, yeah, he did Michael Jackson, so why not Tupac? Yeah, like, but that feature Tupac. was come on, let's talk, let's be honest about it. Come on, oh no, that wasn't the no, don't get it. Nah. Don't get it twisted, man. I heard like, someone say a lot of should... songs on Scorpion that man, like, I don't know, no, nah, they're throwaways. A lot me, of Jaded is, is, is an amazing song, still. Oh, that's oh, probably oh. top five. Top Jaded five. till this day, I still bump that. Like, like it, it gets to my feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. You hear the <laughs> bro, nothing was the same seven years today. <clears throat> nothing was the same, it was also an era. That was that's awesome. Probably, that's probably my favorite Drake project, though. Yeah, same. Mm, ah, uh, I take can't care. That. It's take, mm, take care. Yeah, take care. And then nothing was the same. Yeah. Me. Yo, bro. for me, bro, I have a different experience from, from you guys. So I won't even lie. Why? But when it comes to Drake. Obviously, we all experienced um, Take Care and, like, nothing was the same. Like, at the time, when it came out, it's it the biggest thing because, you know what I'm saying, OVO Fest and all that. Yeah. But the second I went overseas and more life dropped, fam, for me, at least, bro, yo, being away, fam, it just hit different. You feel where, me? Where, where were you? Where did you like, in France. Where? I was in France. So, like, <laughs> I was in France. This guy thinks he's slick. I was, I was, <laughs> you feel me? Cool. You feel me? So, so like, Yo, it hit different, fam. It's just yo, other you know, just like you hear, like man's talking like Toronto languages. You know, just like the, the the whole thing, bro. Like, Watch it speak on my name, fam. you know. The lingo, yeah, yeah. The whole the whole thing, fam. Yeah, like, yeah this is crazy. So it hit different for me. So for me, I, I put more life above. Nothing was the same. Wow, that's insane. yeah. Fam. I'm not even joking. No, no, as a project, I'm not I'm not even joking. As a project, nothing was the same was put together properly. You know what I'm saying? You can't hit. But more life for me just hit differently, bro. I mean, I when guess I can ide- I can identify with like attaching feelings to a project because to me, um 
am I forgetting the name? Uh, the 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 future and Drake project to me. Oh, one at a time. Yeah, is better than if you're reading this. I'm wrong. What? No, nah, I'm wrong, bro. Stop playing. Think stop about playing, it, stop. fam. Digital dash. Digital dash and digital dash. Uh, no. Nah. No, no, there's no way. My favorite song on that my favorite song that on that tape was 30 for 30. Killed it. That's a typical Drake outro. That's a typical yeah, yeah, come on, fam. But fam, digital dash this song. Come on. You can't be in your car calm. Yo, fam, not yo. If you're reading this is too late, bro. It's crazy though, fam. He didn't write it. That's that's your only excuse, fam. That's your only excuse, fam. Bro, no, there's big tracks on there though. Like for me, a project is how strong is there? Is there, is there? is there at least like a four to five track? The sweet loud it one of the mm. other oh, so. Okay, okay. So you're more on sequencing. I'm more of like, I have to look at like the number of tracks that are actually solid on there. But, know? but then again, there's less tracks on what a time than there is on. Um, let's go to the track list right now. What's okay? Let's what's on? Yo, come on. Plastic bag really is this? a bag like Legend. plastic bag a, on a late night cruise. Yeah, man. Yeah, different, different. No, I know if you're reading this, there's legend. There was after legend, it was uh, energy. Yeah, energy. Jungle was, fam. Yeah, come on, fam. You didn't write it. Hands, it's it's more. Hands. It's single bass. It's more. Singles. Yourself, there's a lot of hits on there, bro. Boy, yeah. wonder. Fuck, fuck you, fam. Jungle Madonna. fam. Yeah, I can listen to jungle any. Yeah, Madonna fam. Madonna, come on, I can G, listen bro. to that anytime. No telling. That's probably my top. Yo, I remember top when top what a time to be alive. Yo, Gil. Okay, I'm looking at. I'm looking. At, hold on, hold on. I'm looking at the track list. I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> bro, That's come what on, I'm man. saying. I'm like, what are you really dealing with? Because digital dash the way he started the project is fucking sensational. That, but yeah, that's clear. That's that's the steam that future had on his run because that's the same run future was doing monster monster, Beast yeah. Mode, monster. uh ds2 like future was coming off a of mod DS2. run yeah it was yeah. coming off a of mod run so digital dash was like oh this is future's game yeah yeah well, that's future yeah. fam Drake, Drake just hopped on the future lane to be honest on that yeah, wrong, but, but i remember it, when it, what a time to be alive is it safe to say that jump man is had, like jump man the, that record alone as it probably it impact. beats it beats every every it beats every song on if you're reading this is too late that one track. Cat. Cat. See, I don't Drop know, man. I, know yourself, bro. That's the, yo. What the hell? Know yourself. Nah. Running through the six with my nah. words. He didn't write it. Yo, get out of here with that, bro. Get out of here. I'm actually I'm mad emotional about this because to me. Had he had those rumors not come out about that, I was like, this is fire. This is of the six. Sick, Sycamore, is Sycamore amazing, is not a hard right? song because Travis did write that verse. It's different it because a, he's not talking about I'm from Houston. It, and it's not like a, a, I'm Houston project. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you're reading this, it's, fam, no, that was like, Drake, about, like was embracing yeah, the six. Yeah. Like, yo, uh, yo, that's well, yo, six God. It was. Yo, that, energy, that's fam. Yo, legend. Yo, you stop playing with me, bro. He didn't Forget who wrote song. it. Forget who wrote it. I can't do that. The songs are great, but the songs are yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Had it been a different no, project? talking about the project. I think no, we but the thing is, the project. thing okay, is, okay, well, okay. What about what about take care then? I was just about to say that I can do that. Exactly. I love take care, and the weekend wrote it. That's cool. But on take care, he's not coming to you like my city, me. This is me. you know what I mean. I can give every track to the week. The weekend wrote every song on that album. No, 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 not every. He, so they, so they Quinn, Quinn, they every ten song tracks at least. It sounds, it sounds like Duke. Duke needs to. Um, I think Duke, you, you need to. You need to congratulate somebody. <laughs> I need you. This this has there's have to be an honorable mention right now. We can honor. Bro. Yeah, according to Texas, my boy from Philly, Chases, man. Chase, Chase. We have to honor Meek Mill <laughs> for what? For what, man? Because a lot of the stuff you're saying, you're saying a lot of slick to you about Drake, but uh, you know what I mean. We want we have to thank Meek Mill for at I mean, least exposing exposing it. I'm not gonna thank him for that. That's trauma. Nah, man. <laughs> like the fuck? <laughs> That's trauma. Because had he not told me this, I would have loved the project. You know. But if if Meek had never said it, Drake would have been on our top two list. Everybody, he right now. Is, he still is. He top still two. is. What the me, hell? It's, for me, it's Kanye Wait. Drake. I don't know who's number three, but that's my yeah. top two. Oh. For Koti, it's Meek Mill. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about yo fam. I don't know about. Musically found. Let me not say. Let me. Let me. Let me not say anything about your Kanye, bro. There's exactly. too many Kanye fans. Watch your fucking mouth. Right <laughs> 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 no, it's Kanye. Kanye's still the guy. It's yeah. Drake. It's 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 who's three? Cuddy. <laughs> Jay. Oh, oh, <laughs> yo, yo, family, family. Oh, Jay. Jay. Right, bro. Jay. What? Drake. Kanye. 
Are you, oh, you're disgusting, fam. No, you're a kid. <laughs> this guy, you put Kanye after Drake. Why you put Kanye after Drake? Why? Fam, come on. You put in the kid before the Rose Jake. The run. Yo, my nigga, numbers don't lie, though, fam. What are you trying to really bring up right now? This, that Kanye yo, has this, this is my Jake. list. You want to hear my list? The I greatest up- rapper, of, to me, greatest rapper of all time, Jay-Z. For sure. Exactly. That's my impact point. on me, though. For me, I'm talking about my impact, me, like, as rich, BKP. Kanye Drake. I don't know who's number three, but in that order, musically, that's what okay. Yeah, okay, 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 Best rapper, bro. Mace. Mace. What's going on? Wait, pastors can't rap no more. <laughs> nah. Bro, we gotta talk about. We gotta talk yeah, about what? one thing though. Ma- yeah. You see what Kanye did? Kanye had to apologize <laughs> to Mace for it. For Ooh, you know how many man. times Ma- uh, Kanye was making fun of Mace when Mace turned into pastor. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. Yeah, he was. Yeah, was, was Cameron, fuck. You know that. <laughs> Rich, you know how many. Yeah, Cameron on the list. Come on. <laughs> Mace got flamed for doing that church shit. Now yeah. Kanye's doing that yeah. church and now it looks cool. Yo, it doesn't look cool. It hey, doesn't cool. look cool. Yo, Mace, Mace, had, Mace had one two hits. He had a yeah. one two hit. But what? Two hits, fam. Nah, Mace, Mace, Mace was Mace very, is very, reason, very influential. Mace yeah, is the reason why Kanye raps the way he raps. It's like Allen Iverson. I look at his Allen Iverson. That's an analogy. He wasn't really the... Yeah, like, that's a good comparison. He won MVP one, sure, yeah, but he never won no trip. He never... But influence culture-wise, like, the shiny shoots, that's what Mace was known for, the little flat. He got the swagger Mace. into it. Kanye robbed so many Mace All right. Rose. All right. <laughs> Gee, uh, you know, all you know right. what I'm saying with me? <laughs> all right. Come on, fam. So what? Mace yeah. bars? Mace what? Mace's flow? Cadence? No. Nah, Mace's cadence was one of one. I've never Yo, heard anyone what? that... I've never heard anyone... Have else you heard early, early Kanye? Kanye? Yeah, That's college Mace. dropout, bro. College dropout is better than anything Mace dropped, fam. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. But uh, speaking, of Kanye, <laughs> speak, speaking of Kanye, speaking of Kanye, you know what I'm saying? Yo, but G, come here. on, fam. Yeah, yeah. What? J, Jay, Kanye, stop. fam. Stop it. Quoty, hey, stop. Yeah, Quoty, stop. Stop Daisy trolling, fam. Stirring. Forget Mace, Doc. <laughs> Cody, stop, tro- yeah, stop trolling with base fam. Yeah, what's your top three, fam? Cody's list is nasty. <laughs> Cody's list is like Meek Mill, <laughs> Mace, DMX. Jada Kiss. <laughs> Jada Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, it's Mace, Jada, uh-huh. no, Jada, Jay-Z, Nigga, that's four. Yo, yeah, honestly. Yeah, I'm giving my five. I'm giving my five. That's not, is it in the good order or what? It's order? Yeah, no, it's, it's a messy order. It's a messy order. But okay, Drake, better, Drake is bro. Drake. Drake is, is, is fit on the list. Where's Kanye? Who's fourth? Kanye's fourth. Jay's Who's third. Jay's 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 Yeah. No, he said Jadakiss. He said Jadakiss. Uh, yeah. Jadakiss. Jadakiss. You know, I would have, those are my those are my top six. Those are guys. Bench Bench Fury is talking like starters. I hate it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I oh yeah, I know. Yo. Speaking of Kanye and Jay Z, uh, let's talk about his known affiliate, uh, Cody's boy. You know what I'm going to talk about, right? <laughs> you know what I'm going to talk about. The interview. Ex affiliate, but come on, boss man, man. entrepreneur. Okay, man. but Dame Dash. Boss right, so man. This guy. This guy was just on somebody's show not too long ago. Um, you're supposed to have an interview on YouTube. It's supposed to be live, you know, just having a back and forth on Zoom, right? The the interview lasted all of four minutes. Ask me why. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me I'll why. Hold on, fam. I'll it's hold on. Dame being Dame, bro. Like, how? The, what was the question? I mean, the line of questioning was fine so far. To be honest, I don't want to judge the interviewer, but we're gonna judge him. So, yeah, so, you know, like there was. I guess he asked questions. He got the answers that he didn't expect. From Dame, so he goes, he go like, "Oh, <laughs> word." <laughs> it was an awkward silence, right? And I'm like, "Oh shit, things are already kind of going left." Mm. And then he goes, he's like, "Oh, like to me, like I feel like you were having the most fun back in the day." He's like, "Me, like, yeah." He's like, <laughs> and he goes having fun. He's like, "Yeah, you do." He's like, "When I was like, I was not having fun." He's like, "Yeah, you were." He's like, "I was pouring wim- uh, champagne on women." I was having fun then. Possibly say I was having a better time at Rockefeller. I'm around a bunch of fucking dudes all day with guns. What was fun about that? And the interview kind of backed out of like, uh, I mean, like, yeah, like, you know, he's like, what? Give me an example. He's like, oh, your vibe, you're this. Dame pounced on this guy. Pounced on him. He's like, I'm not energy. You don't get, 
the industry, how I have to be in court for Jay, I have to be in court yep. for Beanie, I have to be yep. making guns. I have to, yep. But he's talking about the inside of it. Like, we didn't get to see that. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. He's about, from his perspective, and there's a like, miscommunication right there. Dame is crazy, man. Like, yo, know, fam. <laughs> how do you. He's acting like the videos weren't constantly coming out of Dame with the flashy Rolex, with all the money, with all the, the women. The dance moves, the dance moves, the fucking. The dance beat. moves, always that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get shit done. Like, yo, what do you yeah. think? Come on, fam. Yeah, like, and he was just, I think that wasn't out at the time, yeah. and he's, he's gonna look at the interview like he's crazy, and then the interview ended. And the interviewer, honestly, to me, he he did a bad decision. Instead of going and answering, yes, I thought that you were having fun when you were pouring champagne on women and doing all those crazy things that you regret now. Instead of saying that, he said he just kind of danced around and gave him an answer, right? And then Dame Dash started attacking him and saying, "Listen, when you're talking to a man, you're specific." When you right? speak and to I can tell that I hit the interviewer. That hit as hard as I got it. So and I was like, yeah. like, like, I'm going to answer the questions I want to answer. Oh, I'm going to answer the questions the way I want to answer. And Dame Dash saying, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, that was a mistake. And then he was like, <laughs> you, you know, know what? what? If he's like, let's not even, like, if we're not going to, the conversation's not going to go like that or something. And then Dame Dash pounced on that as well and said, you know what? Cool. I'm out. I thought you were a Harlem nigga, but you're sensitive. Oh, it's all right. You're sensitive. I thought you was a Harlem nigga. Peace. I'm not. Yo, Coach, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, I, I watched the interview. I watched the interview, and uh, he yeah. wasn't prepared. Yeah, he didn't have a list of questions. He, he, yo, the, my guy. Yeah, you and the black guy found a way to blame the interviewer. <laughs> so I'm saying the reason why I even brought this up is because we have a constant debate etern- internally of about Dame. Like, we talk about his personality and the way he moves, right? And he's always at the defense of Dame saying, no, Dame didn't do anything wrong. Like, Dame is just preaching facts. Yeah, it's like, but people these, don't understand him. Like you need people to know really how don't. to interact with people. His okay. The thing is, his delivery and his upbringing is it's 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 very different. One on one, it's it's you know what I mean. He has a very different background. And on top of that, what he's been through as well too. Like a lot of the people, a lot, look, a lot of the people that speak to Dame aren't ready to to take in the delivery. He's just very like he's super passionate, a nice cape you have confident. On, man. Huh? That's a nice cape you have on, fam. Go on, go on. Okay. <laughs> Save Dame Dash, the superhero. <laughs> go on. Nah, but the interviewer, his page is uh, it's Black Magic, uh, three six, uh, three six three. Yeah, yeah. Um, the interviewer. Yeah. But the thing is, is like, Dame has always been like that, and the the issue that Dame has when he, why, why he gets riled up is because people tend to associate him with his past when he has no more connections to his past like he doesn't speak to uh jay or anybody from that camp anymore as as often like before so for an interviewer to come and talk about and that's the thing it's not his first interview with dame the the other one that they had previously when dame had the women around him and all that you should check that interview out that was probably but he came ready yeah you know what i mean this one you can really clearly tell the interviewer did not win you know, he didn't know what he was doing. It was he was on brightest day. He was literally like just improvising. Yeah. Uh, Wait, yeah. so the guy had a twin, had a next interview with Dame too? Yeah, he's had him out a few times. That's what yeah, he said. Yeah, like they know people. each other. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Dame just got acted up because he's like, bro, you're you're asking questions as if like you don't know me, and why are you speaking upon the past? Like every time someone speaks to Dame, hey, you and Jay. Like even even in the good. past, it was an issue, bro. Like if you look at those videos on YouTube, you see a. Uh, the last days of Rockefeller. You ever watch those those clips? Stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Losing Bro, it, fam. Lose, like, the, from the point where it's in the office room at Def Jam. Well, oh, I do remember meetings. the clip of saying, why are you having a meeting with my meeting. artist and I'm not present? And I'm not, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. he's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, like you said, the delivery, the way he comes about it. Yeah. No, but for in that point, yeah. I'm with him. Because I feel like he already went through some bullshit with those people. So he's talking to them like that for a reason, you know? But mm-hmm. with this interviewer, if we've had a track record of having good interviews, yeah. why are you going crazy on me right now? You know, that's where it gets, that's where I'm not on Dame's side anymore because he rubs people the wrong way and he's like, so what, get over it, nigga. Yeah. Really. And it's like, <laughs> you can't, you can't, like, what, Yo, you well, can't do that. One thing I'm, uh, one thing I'm going to agree with, like, not agree with, but one thing I did recognize is Dame Dash's interview at the Breakfast Club, that, that changed the whole scope of the, the game. Like, the whole culture switched. What? When what Dame about? came to when Dame came to breakfast, come and start talking about that boss talk, whatever. Look at everybody's lives and look at everybody in the college. Everyone switched. People turned into bosses. People went to entrepreneurship. Like literally, so that interview right there switched the whole culture. You're talking about people at the Breakfast Club or just people? Like people watched people at the Breakfast Club. People started like envy, started bossing up. They're doing different things. 
What? Envy was doing what he's he's, doing he does thing. before the interview, fam. Yeah, Yo, Envy's like a multi-millionaire and like he's been an entrepreneur before. You got you got to take a look at the the, the, the nah, interview. Yeah, coach, not it's, because that, he's, that's not because he's aggressive about it. Not because he, he's aggressive about it that he's sending out the right message. Like we oh, know already the, everybody should be words. a boss on their own. Like not because you're yelling at me that nah. you put it out there. You know I, I should follow I'm your footsteps. You? I'm doing that already. Culturally, that interview right there switched the game. You can't say that. Huh? You can ask anybody. Um, you can't say that. I, I, I'm i with you in the terms of people of started also pushing that agenda, but it didn't make people that were not bosses boss up. It didn't do that. People or, were already bosses, but now they're just talking say, What I can say what it did, it definitely had, because it's a, it's a classic interview, you know? <laughs> yeah. Having a boss is like calling a nigga dad. <laughs> 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 It was a legendary interview, but I feel like it just opened eyes to his I'll, situation. Yeah, that's what probably you, what is what Cody's trying to say. Just like we didn't really know what happened with him and Jay because Jay never spoke about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. so he was the only one like you only man fuck that nigga, bro. That nigga did this to me, and that's what happened. That's what I did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it just opened our eyes much wider for sure. Yeah, it's it's crazy though, man. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know, man. That's what happens over the, like over years and stuff like that. People come out with their feelings, whatever. But anyway, uh, let's go into Kanye. So he's giving back fifty uh, percent of the masters that he owns to his artists, mm. which is huge, you know, because the whole time he's been preaching about uh, we have to destroy the industry. You know, we have to make sure that it's, the power is in the artist's hands and not in the other people's hands. So my only thing is, I want to see him go through with this. You know, yeah, I don't just say it. You know? Yeah, he said it in like Big Sean already replied and like. <laughs> That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, he has <laughs> to be. Um, but now, what do you guys think about this? I think it's great. Um, you know, uh, from his his first rap, people were like, "Okay, what is he? Why he's saying all of these things? Is he gonna have any action plan? Like, what about your own artists? You know what I mean? Like, if you look yeah. into the comments, like people were questioning about like it's good to talk about stuff like that, but like he had to look into his own." his own repertoire and his own artists, his own label and stuff and came out with the with a good ultimatum. Yeah. But now the pressure's on Jay's hand. You know what I mean? It's on Jay's hand. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> Kanye... <laughs> what do you mean how? <laughs> you look at Jim oh. getting hurt already. Because, fam, like, <laughs> things got hot for Kanye and when he started talking about, yo, like, you know, let's go with revolution. Kanye was like, oh, shit, like, you know, I did do bad business and me fix that. Jay also did bad business. He's staying quiet. But he he fixed it because he got exposed, don't you think? Doesn't matter. Got he exposed. fixed it. Jay got Money. exposed. He's quiet. Yeah. He, but Jay, Jay that's, that's what Jay does, though. He Jay, yo, it. you'll hear about his response yo, two years from now, fam. Ah, uh, is he seeing this? This is yo, fam. Come on, fam. That's what Jay does, though, fam. You, you fantasize about Jay, Jay a little too much right now, fam. It's not about Jay right now. It's not about this right now, fam. Fam, all right, what if he's doing, he called them and they talked about it? You, you don't know, yo, like, us, like, if it's not on the, so, if it's not on social media, for us, it's like, it never happened. Yeah, so, fine. do somebody, like, come on, but Jay's not on social media. Jay's bigger than that, fam. So, if, if anything. Shut up, shut up. Stop with this bigger than social come media on, shit. Man. Stop that shit, man. Who's bigger than social media? That's what Obama I'm saying. has social media, man. <laughs> Like nah, he still yeah. posts. Jay's up. a social media fan. He posts up with his wife. He posts on the meet, like on the gram. Like he's no he's he, he's he's friend. Friend. I, I wouldn't be surprised. He he Instagram. I, fam, I wouldn't does, be surprised. Why, why does he have the rock the, the thing the Rock Nation brunches? Remember that? That was Instagram fest for men. And yeah. is, he, is he is he posting yeah. the ones? Is he, he the one? Think, is he the one posting the pictures? He's I posting for God, pictures. Jay Jay huh? controls Beyonce's page. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, post yeah. this one. Yeah, for sure. Nah, yo, fam, honestly speaking, bro, yo, Jay, for me, Jay's not on the hot seat right now, fam. Dude, he's not. Love him. No, no, it's not. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking facts, fam. Because nah, Kanye, what he did is like, all right, all right, you guys, you guys, you guys flame me. Let me do something about it and then fix that. But when clearly, go, go, go. Go. yeah, for Jay, it's like, as far as we know, fam, it might be, you know, allegations, fam. We don't know. Uh, they, too. But they even it's said definitely they not allegations. Literally, <laughs> Kanye put out the paperwork. Or no, no, was it Kanye or somebody else? But yeah, they talked about it. Kanye it put was, out uh, the, the paperwork of him uh, uh, being locked down. Like Jay, so, so this. It. No, it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't Kanye. It was somebody else that put out the paperwork saying. But when Jay, um, when Kanye Stein, who was president of Def Jam, that's the real question. 
Was it was it was it Jay or was it somebody else? It was Lior. Nah. Lior was president, and then Jay got it after Lior when because Kanye was signed to Rockefeller, which was Jay's imprint, right? Mm-hmm. Under Def Jam because he signed a distribution deal with Def Jam, and that's how yeah. it was, you know. So when Kanye, when Jay Z became uh, president of Def Jam, he was signing Rihanna. He signed all these new, these new, yes. new artists, and then later on, he, they, like a couple years later though, like it wasn't too much later. It was like two, three years later. You know what I'm saying? Cameron, but even Jay Z himself, he sold his own masters, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that he spoke about it. He said that he, though, he didn't it. agree with. He, he did, didn't yeah. agree with it, but he he decided to sell his masters because yeah. for the worth of whatever X amount of money it was. You know what I'm saying? But Shit, I mean, no. what came? To, what came? Because was didn't the paperwork say that he sold his masters? To get no no what was the paperwork again? It basically said like, uh no he sold Kanye's masters in order to get his back right. Mm. On the on the the Kanye allegations. Thing. All right, if you want to say so. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's take a little break and then we're gonna get back to money. Okay. <laughs> all right, but we're back from the break. Um, all right, so you guys want to get back to the program or? It's supposed to say yeah. It's 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 not. It's a rhetorical question. You say yeah. We're <laughs> ready, guys. All right. Do it. Okay. Let's do anyway. it. All right. Hey, then. daddy. Uh, yo. <laughs> oh, yo. Buzz, buzz. What? Bookie's on some shit, fam. <laughs> now nah, you know I'm getting back at you niggas for clowning Dame still. You know what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> oh, hurt you boss. that much? It hurt you that much? Yeah. It's a funny guy. But now, uh, bro, I just got news that um. Well, let's introduce the topic first. So what, what happened is congratulations to Joe Budden. He just made the announcement like a few days ago that he's launching a podcast network. And this is just like two, three weeks after his rival Charlemagne or Charlemagne Gay. And Charlemagne uh, Gay. You know, with this whole, <laughs> nah, with this whole uh, platform, you know, with the po- black podcast. And, what's it called again? Black Network something? Empowerment. Damn. Um... Black Empowerment. <laughs> black something. It's a black podcast network essentially is what it's called um and uh you know like i guess everyone's saying oh oh you know what i'm saying he won over joe bun and then fast forward to a few weeks or a few days ago joe bun comes out with his own network so that's huge to him congrats yeah, to both called, of those guys it's um, called the black effect black effect black effect black effect, that's black what effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what we're trying to say yeah okay um but now to the joe bun thing the way he announced it was by saying that he's launching the first podcast under his network and the first podcast is called see the thing is right uh, this podcast has three black women, um, two of which have already been on the show. They're actually good personalities. They're fun. And one of them already has her own show and she's really funny. And so it's, it's, it should be good. But I just got word that he might have stolen that that title because there's a girl who also launches her. She has a show as well, but she's not on Spotify, Apple Music or anything like that. She just launches on IGTV weekly because she says she can't afford to put it on those platforms. So, yeah, I don't know. That's not Wait, is this simple. is this is this a, a girl that's like out here known or is it like a local shirt? Um, she seems to be local. Uh, she's got about what less than a thousand followers on Instagram. From Toronto? No, no, no. Oh no, she's from New York. Oh, I see. So it's local to Joe Button because they're mm-hmm. all in New York, right? Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. But no, that's the thing that she does, and you know, she's just big on uh, talking about Black Lives Matter and like you know making unpopular opinions popular. That's his, that's what her tagline is. So. The odds, though, of, of Joe Biden stealing the title from her, I don't know if that was the case. But then the fact that he got the ellipses down was kind of was making me feel shaky because literally the title is C, comma, the thing is, ellipses. That's the title for both shows. You know? So, oh. I mean, oh. it's down, down to the T. Yeah. Down to the dot, dot, dot is crazy. Oh, yeah. oh no, no. You can't do that in 2020, fam. <laughs> Can do some shit like that in uh, 2010 and get away with it, fam. 2020. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, fam. You're not A wrong. whole network, fam. Come on, bro. Yeah. But I mean, but that's where the importance of like copywriting and trademarking all that shit comes in, right? Yeah, for sure. So now, the nah, if I was if I was that gruff, I would have waited, fam. Yo, when he blows up, fam, I'm suing that shit, fam. Yeah, but if you haven't, when the network, when it, yeah, sure, go on, go on. When the network, like, yo, he has bare podcasts on it. This is successful, fam. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm suing him, fam. <laughs> how, can you, yes. how can you sue? Because maybe, maybe he, they probably bought the what? rights to the names under, That's the, under the network. Say. That's what I was going to say. If you yeah, have you know, for sure. He definitely did. Yeah. If you haven't done all the proper legal shit with the name. Doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Kinda, you can't really yeah, talk, man. I'm going to come up. I'm going to come up with some, yo, gem. Return of the gym, fam. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we're scared of the Jet Podcast, bro. If that's the case, bro. Idiot, man. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, to me, I'm still happy that he's launching a network because that's honestly huge. You know what I mean? Like we were on. I can't say we, but I was. I've been on the Joe Bun journey for a long time. You know, from like. Podcast since uh, first what's her, since the show you was there, what's her name? Melanie yeah, Mar- uh, Marty, Marissa, oh, Marty. Yeah, 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 she's got my way back yeah. still. Way back, man. What episode so, yeah. was those? I was like twenty. That was like 2016. 2015, 2015 is 2015, Yeah, fucking Paul. Uh, is his name Paul Rosenberg? Was Rosenberg like, producing was it? Producing it, right? Yeah, yeah I remember. I remember. There was a lot of friction between the guys and stuff, but you know. When did Rose? When did when did uh, not Rose? One always was, fighting with someone, bro. When was Mal came in? Mal came in, uh, maybe a year <laughs> in. He started coming in like here and there. I was like, you know, because he's a friend. He's friends with yeah, Joe, right? So he just yeah. coming on the episode. And literally, as soon as he got on the episode, I'm like, nah, this guy needs to stay on because like the dynamic to him and Joe was really, you know what I mean? You can feel it like when you're listening. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah, man, it just happened. But it's because I think it's because they live with they live with each other though, no? They did, uh, yeah, not at that time, but like they did at one point. Yeah. Like yeah, they have a lot of wild stories, man. Like this guy's <laughs> been through everything, you know. So that's crazy. Nah, man. I big up especially, especially in the nightlife, bro. Like oh, especially in that fam. one that one crib you go clubbing and everyone pulled up to that one condo after the club, bro. Fam, and, Joe Budden drugged Maul. <laughs> like he gave him Molly, fam. Yeah, without him knowing. <laughs> 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 like, well, wow, that's crazy. Man. Man, niggas never did that shit, bro. It's, it's actually a fight. <laughs> Would I fight if someone spiked you with Molly? But you had a good night, though. You had an awesome night. Had a good night, probably not. But an edible, no. Edible, yeah. I heard the last episode. What is it, Mali? That's my worst than edible, though, fam. What? what? Is it Mali worse than edibles? Like, uh, I don't know about that. I mean, it's, it's different. It's a different drug at the end of the day. You know? Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. If, like, I mean, based on my friends that take it, they don't look like they're fucked up. You know what I mean? It looks like they're you got like used to it, fam. They they got used to it. <laughs> yeah, maybe I don't know, but those like they're having a good time. They just want to dance, you know, whatever. But edibles, I've seen people all over the spectrum. I've seen people being like, "Yo, fuck!" But why is the ceiling like that? I've seen people being like, "I can't walk." I've seen people, you know, so it's. I don't know. I'm Damn. Gonna... But anyway, let's talk about another network, uh, Netflix. I don't know if you can even call it that a network. Is that a network? <sighs> Netflix, uh, Netflix, it's like a it's like a streaming platform and stuff. That's how it's it a is. network. I'll call it a network. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it, is. it is. It is. <laughs> All right, take it back. All right, speaking of the other networks, um, Netflix is doing some nasty, nasty shit. Um, they just came out with this thing called Cuties, which is produced by uh, I think she's Liberian mm. or Sudanese. I don't know. It's a woman. She produced this content, and she's it's actually. I hope not. I didn't Google her. <laughs> But uh, essentially what it is, it's, just, it's it's like toddlers and tiaras on crack. Like, you know how toddlers and tiaras already is kind of weird and like they're trying to dress up little kids, put them in weird outfits? Mm. This is like on another level. Like you have little girls that are like, I don't even know, 12, dancing really seductively. Like not even like, suge- like it was really just nasty, like, you know? Mm. And I, I, I feel like the trailer was already out a few weeks ago. We talked about it in the group chat, right? About how nasty yeah, it was, and, ago, yeah. you know, like what kind of agenda they're trying to push, but the actual content itself is <clears throat> worse. Like, there's a, there's a scene where, um, oh, there's a scene where uh, somebody uh, she took a picture of her, you know, and sent it to someone. But like the way they went about the scene was kind of like they, you know what I mean? They, they filmed her taking off her panties, they filmed Come her on, spreading man. her legs, and like, and I was like, this is a little girl you're That's doing chopped, this, like. Um... Nice job. Fact, the number of fucking people heard... unsubscribing was, was crazy. Oh, like, yeah? Yeah. Like, obviously, you know, like, companies crazy. have people unsubscribe, but the rate was, like, double or something. So yeah. people are not fucking with this at all. What do you guys yeah. think? That's a logo. So... That, I swear to God, like, that that show, whatever Netflix, I don't know who is the boss, who clicked the, the green button for, yeah. for, for the publication or for it to be streamed on Netflix like that that like whoever bypassed yeah that project and let it let, let, let the masses yeah. yeah like let the masses listen to it watch it yeah they, you have to be sick yeah wasn't it wasn't it shot director, in France? Fam. I think it's shot in France yeah. yeah it's not about the director bro it's about it's about the streaming platform why are you why are you curating this type of it's content about everyone involved man like this what do you mean it's about everybody involved how are you blaming netflix when there's people who actually shot it and watched it live 
you don't watch it happen live Bro, and they were I'm, okay with it just if, for some views you if, I'm, like, if i'm netflix right and you're coming to me with this content i'm this, that content would never see a day in, in life like never it'll never come out yeah i'm with Cody. but never. you, you know true. you have millions i'm not, I'm not saying me. you have million people's millions of subscribers and you know that you're gonna go and put up this type of content for what money fam like what type of what type of um message or what are, you, what are you trying to do? Yeah, the you vibe know? I'm getting is like, mm. let's help out these pedophiles and give them some material. Yeah. Like, All right, like, this is just feeling nasty. To me. It's but sick, man. Bro, with this, with this climate right now, fam, anything is consumable, fam. You know what, I'm saying? Uh, what I'm saying is, bro, what I'm saying is, yo, with COVID going on, fam, everybody's at home. Hooked to TV, fam. That's no you excuse. Me? What the fuck? That, nah, that's no excuse. Man, no, 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 no. What the fuck? I'm, what I'm, <laughs> bro. I thought, dude, Netflix is thinking about the business side of things, fam. Nah. But this, this was a definitely a miss. A miss, but trust me, fam, Netflix is not thinking about, yo, this is the wrong thing or a good thing to do to put it up. For them, bro, it's, it's all about money, fam. So what, what I'm blaming is, obviously, Netflix has to take some accountability, but the people who shot it, fam. Yeah, bro. you're not gonna look at them and be like, "Yo, that's okay." No, you don't just Netflix of, is worried about. I don't know what oh, type of message you're trying to come across, like because with it, like all girls have that phase when they're growing up into teenage life where they want to become like you know when. Yeah. I don't know what what's the message initially. What what are you? I've never watched it. I'm the, yeah. I don't. I like, don't I'm like not gonna watch it either. I can't. So, yeah. I can't. I can't even watch it, fam. Yeah. yeah no. You're you know what What's the next video here? Yeah, that's never, never, never owned one, fam. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> been tapping out the band, of, uh, <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been tapping into this new series though, um, about coaches in the leagues. You guys watch that? It's like What's NBA coach. For, oh man. Oh, with um Doc Rivers in them. Doc Rivers. It's um, on Netflix. Uh, Mourinho. Yeah, it's on Netflix. It just dropped. Mourinho's on oh, it. Shit. And it's like literally breaking down how like a coach thinks and like yo, like if I'm coaching. It's like, on oh, Netflix. Man. Yeah, it's on Netflix. It, it sounds dropped. interesting as fuck, bro. I want to watch. Bro, that. I watched. I watched a couple. Even the tennis player, people that coach Serena Williams, French guy, he's breaking it down how like Serena was giving bare attitude when they first met, but then <laughs> yeah. she had to adapt yeah. to like how he's he thinking that she you knows from her comeback because her Serena yeah, only her yeah. dad yeah. her daddy's a coach. I thought I it was the link. Yeah. I dropped the link. I think it's called, the like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's called like the playbook. Yeah, it sounds fire. Yeah, it sounds really That's crazy. Yo, what the hell? Yeah, you guys watch Power? Oh yeah, I'm I'm saying Blin. I'm saying, of course, man. Bro, I just tapped into, I just tapped into power like oh, the I think past two about, weeks. I think about the new one. Oh no, not the new one, but just the old like the. Oh yeah, the old one. Fuck yeah. I, oh, yeah, I've, yeah, never, yeah fire, bro, I've never, I've never really invested until now, bro. <laughs> nah, it's actually, fire. it's a mod show stuff. Yeah, it's fire. Yeah, I, it I was is, late. Man. I was late to the party. Like Jim and everyone else in the chat was watching it, and I was like, "This not cool like a, huh? It was like a Tyler Perry late, late, late for what? Power? You watch Power? I don't watch Power. Are you, you're, you're yeah, let's just put I it out there. Yeah, let's just put it out there, fam. I don't want to put it out there. Coach does not watch TV. Yeah, yo, fam, the man on God, fam. Yo, no shows, yo, no nothing, fam. But why? No time for that. Yeah, I only watch bro. documentaries, nigga. Like, you can <laughs> do both. Like, coach is the type of nigga would be like, I read. <laughs> 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 Like, what the fuck? So, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I don't even know how to use a remote. Like, I, I don't yeah, know. I was gonna bring that up. Yeah. Yo, on God, fam, listen to this, man. We went to script to watch a ball game, fam. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, this little bro puts it on, right? Yeah. We get to the crib, fam. I'm like, yo, go to put the game on. <laughs> if I was holding the remote, he's like, yo. <laughs> I'm like, it's on my TV, fam. <laughs> Damn, bro, Kuti, is that bad? Yo, it's that bad, fam. Oh yeah, I, I don't watch. I, I, know I don't know how to. Fam. I forgot how to use a remote since the kids. So. Uh, I feel you. The, I don't really watch TV, TV like that. Like honestly, it's just streaming stuff on the computer, right? But sitting down and watching TV, that's rare. Like, no, nah, but TV doesn't mean that yo, you have to watch every channel news or whatnot. But yo, if you know, just you can go sit down and put Netflix on, and you know, you're watching TV. Like, yeah, I haven't done that. You know what I'm saying? Watch your favorite show, something, fam. Yeah, that's fun. No, no, not really. Honestly, I not mean, fun. Uh, hey, you. I'm talking about this guy. Fam. Oh yeah, no, Kuti's Kuti's lost cause, man. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's switch to a, little, shit, to a bit more lighter shit. Um, speaking of women, uh, so rapper Mulatto is in the news right now for having a concert being held indoors. So she had thousands of people inside singing her songs with no masks. 
Get that shit jumping, though. But, yeah, no matter. It was going, it was crazy. Jumping, fam. I would have went, crazy. dog. Crazy. <laughs> I would have been in there for a year. Come on, dog. <laughs> you know, Mulatto, Mulatto brings out a lot of chicks, uh, a lot of hot ones. Yeah, I mean, Mulatto looks, she's okay. She's a good-looking lady. What, what's uh, her ethnicity, by the way? I have no idea. No, she's an African-American. <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other debate. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, you think she knows yeah, what yeah, what the part fuck? of Africa she's from? I don't yeah, think she knows what part of Africa she's from still. They have no idea. <laughs> I have yeah. it. The way this was said it, bro, I thought he was going to say something interesting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they have no idea where they're from, and it's so sad. Yeah. Yeah. I know she's from Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I mean, I like I mean, what the, that's the women the country in, from. I like what the women in music are doing, to be honest. You know, like, especially yeah. with, uh, like, it right now. like, her, uh, who, Sweet Megan. Teeth. Um, bro, Meg, Meg the Stallion is probably the top art rapper right now. Guys and girls. Top, bro. Yeah. Yeah, she gets to the fucking rap back. But I, what I'm enjoying the most is the fact that they're flipping these like classic samples from the 2000s. You know, like even yeah, like uh, I, yeah. Also, like this girl, City Girls. Uh, uh, yeah, Flo Millie too. Like, she's they hard. get busy, man. They she's get they're hard. crazy. Like, she's women hard. right now, like they're putting pressure on the men of like, bro, Meg, it up, Meg, nigga. Meg is gonna be on SNL next weekend. What? Still yeah, shooting? Meg, if not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised they still shoot that too. Like totally. it's COVID. Yeah, Is the crowd they, still there? I don't know how. I don't know. I really don't know. But I think it's the first one they announced them since COVID stuff. So yeah, yeah, that's huge. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Man. I saw you guys made me think of COVID. I saw a stat talking about the states. Um, they've had two hundred thousand people die from COVID so far. Wow. Which basically means eight hundred and forty-three people are dying every day since COVID started. Man, that's a cap, bro. Come on, fam. But that's how niggas keep dying. Okay, infl- that's cap. They, they infl- yo, that's, they're inflating the numbers, fam. Come on, fam. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to get into the COVID conversation again. But, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Leave it at that, fam. Yeah, where, actually, that? we're going to have it, nigga. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what, happened to, what happened to the auntie with the, the cape red? Where's she at? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Jimmy's homie, fam. <laughs> He's still texting. <laughs> yeah, no, yo, yeah, don't bring that shit up, fam. What's your name? Auntie's <laughs> auntie. auntie. <laughs> That shit have you cried for? <laughs> she fired or she's still working there? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I gotta, I, I gotta I call think, it. I think it was, the, I think it was the, a one-time yeah, job. The, the, found the after, fam. <laughs> <laughs> the job is done. You're out. <laughs> I think, I think yeah, she's still. Uh, I'm praying she didn't do that while her promotion, her probation state. Like I'm just praying. Like <laughs> imagine getting shot during probation. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Anyway, bro. <laughs> um, oh before I started, God, bro. before I started recording, I got this this email from Uber. Uh, they're basically saying they're they're they have this new policy that they're introducing. So now, if you get flagged not wearing a mask in Uber, I don't know if they kick you out or whatever, but <laughs> basically you're like you're marked. All right, ah. so they mark you. You can't go back, which is scary. Go, and then it's like the next time you order an Uber, you have to send a selfie of yourself wearing a mask. Is this strange to only me? That's why I like to just keep these people keep like. It's not more strange, more fam. Like, nah, it's, fam. She's making me uncomfortable. It's not, it's not strange, oh, fam. Yo, bro, come on, fam. Everybody has to do their part. You're getting into someone's car, fam. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, just, yeah, for safety, bro. Like, just wear a mask and we're good. You're not going to swing me no information, none of that. Yeah. Just so do the basic yeah, yeah. and that's it, fam. I'm yeah, with you, there, bro. There's a lot of people complaining about this mask shit. It's kind of worrisome, bro. Like, why? Like, like you said, do your part, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of yeah. people are not having it, bro. Kinda... I mean, Jimmy was one of those people early, too. Early, what? way back, him. Everybody in the chat was No, 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 nigga, yeah. nigga. Wearing a mask? Two, I, yeah, from, I'm gonna from say day this. one. My, nigga, from day one, I said I always wear my mask. I do my part. Right, this nigga, bro. <laughs> this nigga, bro. Him and Ian be mocking you. You think this fucking mask is going to protect you? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you straight up. COVID is real. COVID is real. <laughs> In the streets. Symptoms is real. Is yeah, I don't want to disclose any information on here, but yo, it's, it's, <laughs> yo, it's, yo, 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 where are we going with this, fam? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting you know, COVID's real. Like, the symptoms are actually real. What, what they really stayed out to say what COVID can really talking do. talking about, like, you personally? You, you, Damn. You, you, yeah, like, personally. Yeah? yeah, personally, you know, um, you know, yo, you know, COVID's not a joke. <laughs> The, they're paying you. Yeah. Right? You got tested. <laughs> they're paying good. Yeah. 
they got to it. They sat down in the living room like, we have two options. The needle or the check. What do you take, you fam? <laughs> nah, COVID's real, man. It's, oh, no. it's not a joke. Second, second wave is real, fam. Oh, yeah, second wave is real, fam. I don't know. Yo, yo, two, they're stacking no. up those numbers, fam, just now. It's flu season two, so like, yo. I've never gotten the flu. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, still. So never been. I don't, yeah. Yeah. Y'all niggas ain't knocking on wood. I ain't never. I'm knocking on. Yo, yeah, for, for you, fam. What you knocking on, fam? I ain't never been to the wood table, fam. But, bro, the worst sick I've ever been was like stomach virus, bro. Eating yeah, some literally. That's stomach virus. Eating some bad shit. That's it. Yeah. Other than that, it. like I've that never. Was, that's when I was a kid. Like, poisoning, stomach, huh? stomach, stomach, stomach. You were virus, man. No, nah, food poisoning, fam. No? Food, food poisoning. Food, yeah, food poisoning. That's, that's not a virus, fam. A virus? I didn't get food poisoning. Oh, no, but how is that not a virus? That is that. Literally, your body's rejecting the virus. A flu and a virus. Oh, Isn't it the same thing? Stomach flu? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's science niggas listening to this like, yeah. what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yeah. That is definitely yeah. the same. Give me, don't do no research, bro. Yeah, There's two bro. different things, bro. A virus and a flu, bro. I, the flu a is a virus. Yo, he said, he said, yo, stomach virus, fam. Yo. He didn't say flu. Fam. So it, it, it a virus. just means you It's food, influenza. Food poisoning, influenza, fam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, influenza yeah. is a virus. Yeah. Says who, man? <laughs> See, now you're going to lose the money they're going to pay you. <laughs> about the COVID shit, they're going to take the shit back. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking up again, Johnson. <laughs> Johnson. It's <laughs> over for you, man. Take two. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I, I wonder, I wonder if, you, if you're a registered COVID... Um, <laughs> Is your house registered? Like, are you registered with the state? Like, are you be, what do you become? Like, test it out. Fam. Yo, test it out. Yeah, let's know. You find it out. Let us know. Nah, but you should yeah, see you the lines, imagine, bro. Yeah, you imagine driving yeah, down trying to see, see quoting those lines, fam. <laughs> no, I'm like, fam. Nah, <laughs> never catch me. Yeah, had it. Had it his face too. That's, <laughs> that's like the new unemployment life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There's a mask and the sunglasses. He was like, yo, damn, they got you. <laughs> Yo, keep driving, keep driving, keep driving, man. <laughs> Yo, that's oh, funny. Oh, it is serious. Um, there's a lot of fallen soldiers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, bro. No, COVID <laughs> real, yo. Well, let, not <laughs> show you. COVID real. It's not a joke. Yeah, do your part, even, even the elementary and, like, oh, high schoolers, bro, there's cases growing in the schools daily, fam. It's crazy. Yeah, it's not a joke. We're not bro. shutting down, though. I don't think it's going back to stage one. I feel like they're just going to keep, keep on going. And, yo, abona tabiak salut. <laughs> yo, fam. <laughs> yo, yo, shit. Yeah. So, what are you saying about Uber? Though? Are you blaming them? Or like, what do you? What, what's your uh, take on it? No, I'm obviously pro mask. My thing is like, it's kind of weird, like the fact that it's it feels kind of invasive, and I don't, I never trust corporations when it comes to like asking for more from you. You know what I mean? And I was like, hey, we want to see your face true. with the mask. Everyone's walking around with masks now. Are they trying to find niggas from the fucking like what? The riots they're doing, you know what I mean? They're trying to pinpoint people. Like, what are they trying to do right now? What's their agenda? Is what I'm trying to figure out. That's all everything. Nah, just the basic up. fam. It's no, just the basic yeah. fam. Everywhere you go, fam, now the mass is mandatory. You feel me? Yeah, it's been like that for a little while. So, how are you going to get into a, a spot where it's, it's, mad, it's mad, like, small fam with a driver? Like, come on, bro. Yeah, and the, yeah, it's honestly, it's fucked up. But, um, all right, you guys want to move on to listener questions? You guys have anything for silly shit? I don't know how to explain this, but my girl, my girl brought up some crazy stuff, man. Do you have a girlfriend? You feel <laughs> Yo, yo, what if you say, yo, you, you, you have a girl, right? This guy's making up the question, fam. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to explain it. I'm trying to put what it together, if? fam. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> yo, fam. So, you're, you, let's say you, you're a partner, right? You're a partner? What if their friend dreams about them? You know, and like them having sex or whatnot. And you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they tell, like they my... tell your partner about it. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. And your partner tells you, like, what are you, how are you going to feel about it? Your boy, your boy, your boy, you know that. That. Your boy is dreaming uh, about your girl? No, your girl's, not your boy. Your girl's male friend. Is yeah, dreaming about having sex with your girl, and you told your girl, and your girl told you. I'd be like, I'm giving it back to my girl. Handle that. <laughs> like, yeah, what? Yeah, I'm packing her bags, bro. Yo, you gotta go. 
What? The what? You got a beard, bro? <laughs> what, bro? What? You got to blame her for his dreams? Yeah, why why his dream is he dreaming about, about you? you? That's the question, though. How yeah, can I someone pop in his dreams like that? This guy's crazy, man. Are you sitting at home with me and then some guy's <laughs> screaming about having yeah. sex? You're blaming your girl. Because... And you're telling me, no, but no, but you're here telling me, yeah, he, I, I got fucked in his <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it was literally, in fact, it was a dream, okay. though. Okay, you're the but, woman of his dreams, right? All right. <laughs> so you're going to blame your girl because the next nigga had a dream of her. Yo, you really want to really dissect what dreams are? Today? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Umar, let's go, man. Uh, no, no, don't frame me as that. No. <laughs> yeah, let him, let him explain it, fam. I'm what it is, uh, Lost the theory. Explain the dreams, sir. That's like, yeah, what dreams are, fam. Yeah. Nah, you know what dreams are, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you would be the worst teacher. <laughs> Yo, teacher, why is that the answer? You don't know that? <laughs> Yo, why are you in my class? You don't know why that? Class, you don't know the question. <laughs> <laughs> Those are bare African teachers, bro. Come on. He's <laughs> 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 calling you idiot and shit. Like, yo, get out of the class, man. No, but y'all niggas relax. Y'all niggas. Y'all niggas. Oh, like, like, yeah, he doesn't know the answer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we all feel the same things. <laughs> yo, guys, guys, what was the question? Did you guys ever get asked a question in an interview <laughs> and you just couldn't answer? <laughs> and it was one of those moments where you're like, I don't know what the fuck to say. What was the question that got you stuck in an interview? Oh, uh, this one, oh, this one, this one, this one. Do you, do you see a future in here? <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's a good one. That's a good I remember one. I got asked that. Yo, I literally sat there and was like, yo, I'm just for the money. I'm, I'm, yo, come on, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to. I'm gonna put the tat, the, the name of the company on me. Oh God, yeah. Bro, I'm not. I'm not. That's what they want you to stay, though, fam. <laughs> Even like, what? what, what, what yeah, yo, what honestly, I hate interviews, fam. Really? Job interviews? I hate yeah. interviews. Yeah, job interviews are the worst, fam. <laughs> I've only done like two or three in my life, to be honest. It's kind of annoying because, like, you have to dress up and it feels yeah. like you're like, oh, take me, take me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like if you get to go on interviews and be like, t shirt and pants. For me, that feels like you know what I mean. It feels better because you just you're just selling yourself. But if it's like okay, I have to be dressed in this suit, I have to be like, oh well, you know it's me, blah blah blah. It, just, <laughs> yeah. it feels so, you know. <laughs> yo, but yo, the whole yo. We didn't. Ask what about question. you, fam? Yeah. What, yeah. Uh, to me, fam. Honestly, I, I probably. I uh, like, why I, you look at the ceiling, bro? Come on. I, I always feel what I say, <laughs> fam. Honestly. <laughs> Part of me will feel like Koti being like, yo, but why is this nigga dreaming about you? But I realize that it's also an insane question to ask, you know? I'd be like, all right, that's weird. You know, like, how are you going to handle that? I'm putting it back on her, like, how are you going to deal with that, you know? Yeah, because to me, you okay, that's a good question to ask, yeah. Yeah, because to me, it's like, if I'm friends with some girl and she's like, oh my God, I dreamt that you fucked me last night, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> like, we're going to talk less now, you know, because that's, to me, I'm like, that's weird, like, you know? It's kind of like mm-hmm. I'm in a relationship too. You're coming comfortable to me talking about, oh, I, I dream you fuck me. Like, all right, man. Like, you know, you're, you're kind of low key to suspect my so girl at this you, point. You're not gonna talk to her spicy. <clears throat> nah, what the, I have a girl, fam. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, Cody was different, fam. Trap. Nah. nah, but were, yo, were you not the same one that says, yo, um, you said it on the last EP when you open that door, man's like getting into it. Yeah, fast. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I look at. I look, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I look at who opened, who knocked on the door. Like, close the door, man. So, yo, fam, Julia, you go through the door now, fam. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know you're entertaining. Yeah. Come on. I want to see, in my younger days, 100%. Yeah. I know you asked your questions. So, what I was doing, yo, shit, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yo, ask you what I was doing is crazy. <laughs> nah, that's... What would my first question be? Yo. You should be like, I never tried that. Yo. Too, what if, yo, what if, what if, what if, yo, you sleep in the same bed with your girlfriend, and she, yo, you wake up at night, and you see her dreaming about the next bed, bro. Yo, if she's moaning and shit, yo, yo, fam. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wake up, bro. I'm kicking you off the bed. Bro. Yo. <laughs> the fuck you dreaming about, bro? Like, yo. <laughs> There's no way, man. Yo. <clears throat> That's funny. <laughs> no, kill me, dog. Right, you guys want to get to What about you, Rich? Oh, me? Remember? 
Mm -hmm. First question? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. Why is Rich fine? What's going on? <laughs> how, how, how quick did I bust? All right, my first question was like, hey, oh, was it good? Was it blessed? You know, was it, yeah. But probably not now, to be honest, because that's like entertaining. But I feel like younger days, it'd be like, oh, where, how was it? Honestly, at this point, I'm just good. ready to rap. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we've got a pretty good hour. Um, <laughs> we covered everything, I think. There's nothing, honestly, nothing much in the news, to be honest. Listen. Oh, listen listen to oh, yeah, there, oh, yeah, I completely forgot. There's two listener letters. So, um, again, you can send your listener questions at ROTM Podcast with two T's. So, that's ROTM P-O-D-C-A-S-T-T on Instagram. Um, but, yeah, the first question is, why do you prefer doing in-person podcasts over Zoom podcasts? Oh. Uh, uh, should I answer first? You guys want to answer first? <clears throat> Yo, it's my show, so I'm, 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 I'm going to go All right, this is... <laughs> 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 yeah, that's for you, fam. How yeah, you gotta, yeah. yo, come on, uh, that's for you, fam. Honestly, to me, it's like the vibe is completely different. Like when you're when you're shooting in person, obviously, like even like between the breaks, you know what I mean. You guys like there's riffs that you just there's just the energy is different, completely different, and there's things that you can riff in person that you wouldn't be able to do over Zoom. Um, communication, obviously, like there's no gonna be like, oh, what would you? Would you say, uh, what? <laughs> or like anyone caught up looking in themselves or anything like that, you know? So the in-person energy is completely different. And also having like uh, people in the background too is also amazing. Like when you're filming on set, like commentary from people from the camera or like, it's just the energy is completely different, man. And energy, bro. Yeah, I like it way better. What about you guys? What do you guys like better? Zoom podcast or in-persons? Yeah, I love dapping the man, them, you know? Hey, <laughs> so... <laughs> Conversations, bro. Oh, it's laugh, real life. Man's push man's off each other. Yeah, bro. It's, it's yeah. real energy. This is this is it's real energy right time. here. I don't know why you ended up on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which one? Nah, nah, in person, yeah, in person, in person, fam, definitely in person. Yeah, definitely, fam. Yeah, it's way way better. Cause like honestly, like even over Zoom, you get kind of like, all right. Yeah. Another Zoom episode, you know what I mean? But in person, it's like you're excited to be there, all that stuff. So it's whatever. But um, yeah, the second question is, how long have you guys known each other? Uh, I don't know who they were referring to. Probably last episode, right? So yeah, but I feel like we already answered this on a podcast, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we we yeah. talked about it. Yeah, EP twenty, fam. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was like. Twenty yeah, episodes of a whole week. So go back. This forty. Yeah, crazy. 40, fam. This forty-one. 41. This forty-one, fam. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, I know. Forty-one, crazy. bro. Levels. Almost 50, almost 50. But, um... Right, that has to be a big one, though, still. 50? Yeah. Why? Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> nah. Oh, it's always... When I, I've, known, I've known Koti since, uh, like, we're, like, what? Four? Four years old, I think? Right? Four or five mm -hmm. years old. Uh, I've known James since we are in grade eight. So that's, what, 13 mm -hmm. years old, right? <clears throat> uh, I've known Rich since EB... Um, I was in grade, I want to say grade 10? 10? 10. Yeah, so I was yeah 10, bro, yeah. How, yeah, how old were you when I was 15? For me? Yeah. Four years? I was 11, bro. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <I> was, <laughs> no, there's no way. Then. Don't talk. I was, so it must have been grade, grade 7. I was in grade 7, I was 12. I was 12. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, so it was, so yeah, it 13. makes sense. I could have been in grade uh, 10 still. So. Yeah, yeah right. ten or nine yeah. still. Yeah, okay, okay, makes sense. Yeah, man, and that's 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 all we had for you guys this week, to be honest. Unless you guys have something else to add, but I think that we went pretty long. Um, you know, what's the second uh, uh, listener <clears throat> questions? Man? That was it. The second. You, you said there's two, no? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. My, my, yeah. Yeah, my bad, bro. You wish this game. <laughs> hey, man, it's, it's, it's a slow week. week. Head up, bro. It's too tight, bro. <laughs> it's a slow week for everyone involved. <laughs> uh, nah, honestly. Thank yeah, my bad, bro. Thank you guys for coming back on the show. You know, like thanks for having um, me. Yeah, thank you for Respect. listening. Thank you, listeners, for listening. Uh, if you want to watch as well, obviously it's on YouTube. You're clearly watching. If you want to listen, you can listen on Spotify as well. Uh, the podcast page is ROTM Podcast with two T's. Send your questions, emails, dilemmas, all that stuff to ROTM Podcast at gmail.com. And of course, you guys can plug your things. You guys yeah, can uh, plug your things. Um, Instagram, Twitter. <laughs> Snapchat, BKP, LVG. Uh, we got one more project coming out. You know what I'm saying? Squeezing one more project in. 
for the end of the year. So mm-hmm. look forward to that. We put more videos, merch coming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> big things, big things. We got, we got Pili Pili. Yeah. Fam, who's holding a gun to your head? <laughs> like, <laughs> the energy, the whole podcast is good. Now it's like, ah, oh, fam, come on, man. I'm saying still, so, um, you know, maybe we got spaces, you know, PD PD spaces. Um, it's about to launch in October. We're about to release the uh, the dates, um, and then we're adding six different spaces to the mm-hmm. channel. So we're going to uh, be releasing it. So, you know, look ahead, pay attention. And uh, keep your uh, your taste buds ready. Yo. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on, Jim. No kill me, fam. Yo. My name is Jim. Out of my. What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> this guy acts like he's a grade six presentation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy only has to say three letters, bro. <laughs> <laughs> J. Yo. Yo. Yo, Doug. Um, thank you for having me, man. Yeah, of course, man. Uh, if you want Respect. to know anything more about Jim, you, obviously you can find him at All Black Market. That's ABM. That's his business. Him and his girl's business. ABM. It's spelled A B A L L B L K Market. I was gonna spell ABM. I was like, what am I doing? That's off the page, you know. But yeah, no. Thank you for coming on. And, uh, yeah, man. Oh, I had a question for you, Cortina. How come? I mean, we can cut it off now. They don't have to hear.